Alright guys, this is Kim Wicked 4 here back again. Pretty much we're gonna do a little unboxing and review of this case here. This is from NZXT Source 530 uh, full tower case. I would more say more mid tower um, for the case, but anyway, um, I'm actually using right now my tripod just to uh, to stabilize better the camera. Just want to show you. The reason why I got this case because I, I need a new case. Um, just the the test bench I had, uh, just not enough for me no more. It's too heavy. It takes way too much space, and I try to find something under a hundred bucks. This is the best I could find. Simple, affordable, and capable. Um, I looked around for different cases, and this is only fits my budget. It fits everything. I'm surprisingly obvious that you have a picture here. In front of the box, uh, I actually got it from Best Buy for under a hundred bucks. Um, good deal. I'm an Elite Plus member, so I get like double points and everything. And I kind of liking how you could just buy it, they ship it to you. I picked it up. This is your guy here. Ordered it last Sunday, and I got it here Friday, so it was pretty quick. So very happy. Anyway, so. I'm gonna use the tripod. I'm gonna show you a little bit what it is. So here's the front of the case. This actually has a side window panel. You could modify it, but I won't look for a case that, that you don't need to modify it. Um, has a window, has a, a a top. You can fit a triple radiator. Has three uh, three uh, quarter bays, and the uh, actually right here has two USB three uh, three and the headphone jack and microphone. Anyway, just show you that. Actually, the front of it here it is. So uh, here's the front of it. So here it is right here. I'm not gonna zoom in because it's just not. This camera is just not stable enough to do it. But uh, I could do it. But anyway, it's just big enough. You're just doing. Uh, 1080p, you, could, uh, you know, see it. Anyway, here's a more good descriptions of the pictures. The thing, one thing about NZXT, they have obvious detail pictures. Tells you what it works. Uh, like I said, the reason why I got this case it does does support a 360 on top and a 240. Um, if you decide to do in the front, it does work. Top 360, obvious, perfectly fine only in a pull not push pull just remember that this one you were on the top a 360 will fit it'll be 35 millimeters so with the fans about would be about 38 millimeters thick um just to let you know um it being too thick and by the way it will one of the dry bays on the top will be interfering with if you put the fan inside just to be aware of that and I don't mind because I'm gonna do some 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 modifying or something, not fully, but I'll figure it out. It does fit the 240 in the front too and the bottom too. It does have the removable all your drives, fully modular integrated hard drive system. So you could uh, move the bottom one right here. If you move the bottom one, you could actually fit a 240 on the bottom and then push pull. If you want to do push pull, you have to remove the next one up, and that's we do push pull. If you decide only to do a pull, you just take out the bottom one. You have yourself like six drives there, so it's pretty, pretty good. Um, excellent cable management. Um, actually, this case does actually work with nine fans. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's really nice. It does have dust filters on the bottom, obvious. And those steel uh, five and a quarter bay uh, latches, really, really good. And let me see, obviously the uh, acrylic window on the side and everything. Uh, let me show you the. Anyway, I don't know if I can zoom in, but I'll just say here. Uh, the dimensions is two thirty five millimeter. Width is two thirty five millimeter. Height is five. 07 millimeters and depth is 510 millimeters plastic steel total weighs about 9.2 kilograms 
it does work with um, ITX, micro ATX, ATX, and E ATX. So three, 322 by 272 millimeters does have front USB 3.0. Um, just remember that if you decide to use an older board, does not have USB 3.0, you're actually screwed. You have to find an adapter. They should actually offer that with this. Um, does have the audio microphone leds i'll show you where they're at power reset and uh, what's cool about this it does have a uh, a uh, a 10 port fan header so yeah um ex uh, external five and a quarter base three internal three and a half six internal two and a half is uh seven one behind the motherboard and it with the expansion base the slots are eight Front fans for cooling uh, to two 120 or uh, 140 or actually the big guy. You use a 200 millimeter in the front. I'll show you that right now. On the top at three, uh, three 120s or two 140s. Um, actually included already one on the top, far to the left, closer to the exhaust, the rear 120 or 140, and included again a rear one four, uh, 120. In the back at the bottom it does work with two 120s removing one of the dry bays you could do that and is that the front or i can't even read that logo let me see pivot or i have to say pivot 120 or 140. cpu uh, clearance is for coolers 182 millimeters VJ is 3 310 and then a hard drive cage with HD hard drive cage is without it is 44 millimeters without all the cages out so I can't really com try to convert it I don't really have time for that cable management on the side point is 26 millimeters and then on the height is 34 millimeters does come with the uh, two-year warranty and this model is the CA-SO530-M um, I actually had to remove all the stickers as you see here the stickers and all that so let's actually uh, remove this real quick and get this done every time you open a box be, be very careful The packaging did it came pretty good. Besides this, I think there was a hit around here somewhere. Don't remember. Sorry about that.
put this this way. Here it is. Here is a case. This is probably going to be a long review. Here is the front. There it is right there. Three five and a quarter base right here. Very easy to come out. Very sturdy too. Very strong plastic. So um that's your manual book, all the accessories and everything. The accessories should be inside. So I'm not gonna worry about this. I really want to move the, the plastic shroud from this thing is pretty sturdy actually I'm surprised I'm trying to that's one I'll show you the front. Headphone, microphone, USB 3.0, LED indicator for hard drive or power. Um, and what's cool about this, it's kind of interesting. I don't know why they did this, but on the side, here is the power, research, and LED indication right here on the side. So, um, something that you should be aware of it. Let me take off the fan screws. And what's cool about these uh, NZX TXG provided with their little dampeners right here on the screws. So, and they're actually on there pretty good. So for the silent, the silent treatment and all that. So. Here is the side panel right here. Reflect is pretty good. Put this aside actually. Show you how it's actually constructed from the side. I mean, it's kind of okay. I mean, you gotta be careful. Easily modify. It's very rigid. A little bit, it does flex, but we're all good. So I'm gonna take off the tripod now. Show you a little bit more. Let me see if I take off the other panel. Holy crap, these things are hard as hell. So here it is. You have a 120 up here and a 120 here. What's cool about it? Accessories box is gonna be here. All the front. All the goodies here. All the front IO. Excuse me. USB 
LEDs indicating HD audio. All the connectivity. This right here is to power the actual uh, little fan hub on here. Re-switch, power reset, and uh, uh, switch uh, indicator then. You have all the all the LEDs here. Uh, these little brackets here and over here, uh, you actually have uh, a fan bracket mount for you could uh, you could flex it upside down, uh, upside down, but you could uh, keep it any any angular way you want to blow into the CPU or the graphic cards. Um, yeah, let me see. Here are the those metal metal things that the, the hold down. They're pretty rigid actually. Whoa. Very rigid. Let me see if I can slide this out. There you go. So hard drives you could fit up to uh looks like only uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, six drives, kind of interesting. Uh, here's that fan hub, 10 port hub that I here. Here's another SSD, break them out here. Then, um, let's see what comes in the accessory box. And every accessories you could think of that is organized completely in a little individual bag. So that's pretty cool. Here's the actual toolless dry bay. Uh, dry bay uh, occupies three and, a, three and a half and two and a half. It's in the center for the two and a half. It seems a little bit awkward, but I mean, no, no big deal. So, really about it. I mean, that's how you put it on. Well, let's see. That's one. That's Sorry about that, guys. This is Kim Mike 84 here back again. I uh, recording stopped for some reason. Uh, seems kind of annoying. But anyway, uh, I was talking here. I decided to remove the front panel um, to show you a little bit. It's very rigid, actually, very strong. It's actually a dust filter here. Um, part of the system here is pretty nice. I wish they did have made it a little bit differently, but uh, some people are actually receiving these, uh, not able to uh, to stay on. Uh, I mess around with mine. Actually, got very very lucky. Just push it down, make sure and. Uh, yeah, it stays on there now. And anyway. So here is the actual part inside. These actually have LEDs here. And uh power reset switch. I really wish that they they uh they change this. This is weird. It looks like right here this system comes apart apparently. Might be a different because I see brackets right here. It looks like this uh, top part of the unit comes off apparently of the radio. So, but anyway, um, looks pretty organized. Um, I don't have my, my measuring tape here, but so it's more than an inch, like an inch thick, like 
Cable management's pretty, pretty decent. It does have a big cutout right here. And I'm checking all the corners for safety. No, doesn't doesn't really look pretty uh, um, like dangerous. It's they well taken care of material wise. So baby could accidentally try to you know hurt themselves. They don't cut themselves on there. If you decide to remove these screws, all these bays come out, and um, you could fit a 240 vertical, um, and then that'd be awesome. If you decide to do that anyway um, here actually could fit the two uh, 200 millimeter fan right here do a pull in massive air so yeah um, these things are very rigid man look at that steel clamps it's pretty good look at that it's pretty good and you already get you get two, uh, two 120s here what I might do, I might put these actually here in the front. I don't know, see what happens. They're still, I mean, they're decent fans. Um, the model numbers for these are the AC1225L120S. These are quiet fans. So the models, so it's pretty good. Um, what else I'm trying to think of? So what it looks like with these screws here, I was trying to say here. So apparently this, apparently this whole top thing comes off. You have the screws here, all of them. And this whole thing just lifts up. Um, I don't know why. Um, I don't see nothing mounted part of the unit, maybe about here. Let me focus a little bit better. Maybe here, but I don't see anything. And literally, you can mount your radio here. So obvious, this is a pretty good, decent system. So yeah, for for custom builder, for budget, for beginner, this is pretty damn, pretty damn good. Uh, build quantity is pretty good and you can fit a lot of damn hard drives i am not joking so 360 on top a 240 in the bottom if you decide to do a push pull um for me I, i'm gonna actually remove one of my 360s my ex 360s um decide gonna do a only a 360 push pull i'm gonna do the the notches through here i don't have those uh four pins on there no more so I could just slide them in here real quick and it's easy um, and then I'm gonna put my my Excalibur fans in here through the muggle board very easy and one thing too I wanted to tell you on here if you see here uh, I already have the the screws install the uh, motherboard stands off uh, already on here it's pretty cool uh, for standard ETX, I think yeah, it is it's Pretty pretty interesting Last thing to the for the power supply here it does It does occupy a, a standard ETX and extended ETX that uh, Extend you know, those really huge uh, 1200 uh, or 1500 power supply 1500 watt power supply in it's more than an inch and you still have enough clearance if you were decided to remove this dry bay here and uh actually let me see what i can do it here these things are really damn hard Screws of the knees come off. Oh, one more. So it's two of them right here to do it to remove to secure 
That, sl that slides out. And you keep doing it until you decide what to do. Um, to, to occupy that 240, you have to remove this bracket here. There's two screws here. And down here to remove that bracket to fit the 240. If anybody else is interested, but I'm not going to. But anyway, all right, you guys. This is Kill My 84. Um, unboxing and review of the NZXT Source 530. Um, I literally took it apart really quick. Very easy, very customable, customizable for every little thing for your dollar. Um, you guys have a, any questions, leave it down, a comment down below. You guys, if you ever liked the video, please. Um, thank you very much, NZ, uh, NZXT, for providing this case. And seriously, for the price, I'm quite ecstatic and electrifying <laughs> this case is this budget. And I should be putting my rest of my Blue Galaxy. Um, well, 2.0, this is going to be 3.0 now, I think. I've already lost some of the names already. But uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, see you guys a little later. This is Kill Mike 84. All right.